Hi, this is Ben from bestqsystems.com and in this video tutorial we are going to learn on how to detect that network has lost on your website. So once network has lost and the user they are on your website, it's, also, it's always a good manner to inform them that the network has lost and then as if that is not enough you try to reconnect them. You have ever visited a website like Facebook and you found that once less the network has lost or when the network is weak they try to reconnect you or you, you see that they are detecting that your network is not available. You have, you have also ever gone to sites like Gmail or Google and if you found that. So I'm going to teach you on how to detect that and again how to reconnect your users once the network is weak or once the, net, once the network has lost. So after this video tutorial I have created two files and these two files again these two files can be seen here so let's just see them so we have our two files in our HD docs folder in a folder called network then if we have jQuery.js and we have index.php where we are going to write our code and net.php where we shall be setting our request to check for the network so the first thing that we should be doing right now is to include our markup okay? So then we need to go to our jQuery.js, okay? equals to jQuery.js then the next thing that we are going to do we are going to have two files okay the first one we are going to have uh, we are going to have two divs then the first one we are going to have is div class so the first one is going to have div class network error here yeah, so we will say network And the next one is going to be just network, okay? So we shall be showing our network error here. All errors in the network shall be showing network. Please wait for I connect to you, okay? And again, for this, you might need to say, so, you are now connected to the network. Okay, that's all we need for this. The next thing is to style this network, so you can just come here and style this style equals to color to be blue so background to be none font size to just be something like 18 px okay yeah so then I'm going to have style equals to color red and font size to be 18 pixel so the next thing we are going to see, we are going to detect to see if our jQuery is working just by writing script. So so we need to close that.
So I'm having problem typing with my laptop keyboard. Yes, stressing me because I'm not used to this. Again, I'm just going to load my file here. Localhost. I'm going to go to go to the network. Okay. So you can see our page is blank here. Okay, let's start the start of way. So we need to come here and cut all that and put it in our index.php. Sorry for that. I have put the page in the wrong file. So then I'm going to refresh. And you can see my jQuery is working. So the only thing that I need to do instead is to come and say style equals to text align equals to center. Okay, yeah, so just come here and refresh our file and you can see my text align is equal to center. And in fact for us to see well we can just come here and maybe put something like H1 here. H1 H1 Then you can also put H1 here And also close there Then we try to refresh our page Now we can see it very well uh, We are now connected to the network we are having problem, blah blah blah. Don't mind about the spelling and so on and so forth. So the next thing, the next thing that we are going to do, we are going to now detect that the network is lost by creating a function that is going to call to be called connect. Okay, so I have my connect function there, and I'm going to create this function here. Okay, the best thing is not to create function. do this I need to create a function called in time function called so I might call it connect I'm going to call it to create it inside here so this function I'm going to set timeout and to set timeout I'm setting timeout connect for every 800 sec for every 800 milliseconds okay then i need to create a variable called time a variable called time and i'm going to say time equals to zero okay yeah the next thing i might need to mm -hmm. to put some h2 here with the class equals to timer then I'm going to close my H2 there. When I'm come here, I'll just say my time plus plus because I want to increase the time. Then from that, I need to come here and say something like this. So um, dot timer dot HTML to be time. Okay. So let me just see from the browser what we have right now. So you realize that you must call a function because for this function to be to be useful, we must call it here. Then you come and refresh our page. And you're gonna see our time now is counting for every 800 milliseconds. You can see the time is increasing. So what we shall be doing every time time is equal to two, we shall be setting. So if time, so we shall be setting a request to Ajax. So if time is equal to two, okay. 
then if time is good to we shall be setting an ajax request and to set an ajax request that's how we do i'm not going to teach you on how to set an ajax request and we are setting an ajax request to net.php this file here we've created here net.php and we might be passing some data like task equals to tsk then i might create a function here the function that is going to carry data just that then inside here we can just say clear timeout but the timeout that i want to clear i want to clear the timeout for our function connect connect okay yeah then i take time back to zero time equals to zero Yeah, I take time equal I take time back to zero that's so the next thing that you can see that I have a variable here called TSK. That variable can just define it to anything you want here, but I'm going to leave it to be nothing. Then I come here to my network and I refresh and so we see how the system is going to be working. You can see the system every time you reach to the system is going back to zero. Okay. So what we're going to do right now. Oh, so but what would happen if we would just disconnect so you can see our system right now is uh, is whooping from one from zero to two and when we reach to we set an ajax then back to, to, to zero again so what would happen if network uh, would cut the network let's just see we have we have cut the network and you can see the time would proceed further it would go to the infinity so for that we're going to when the network will get lost, we know the time will go to infinity. So, and to avoid this, what you're going to do, you're going to say if time. If time is equal to something like, like 15, okay? So, the first thing that we need to do, we need to come here and hide the network error, okay? We hide the network error. Display. Be none. Okay, yeah. So let's just copy paste our class here. So every time network reaches 15, we're going to copy paste that. We're going to say dot show. We just show. Okay. Then take time. So but after showing you need to take time back to zero so that we can try to reconnect the user so we can try to repeat the connection process again then from that we clear timeout the best thing is to clear timeout and you're clearing timeout for your connect function okay yeah just like that then we come here and we try you can see the time has already gone to infinity but we start the our Apache and after starting we refresh and you can see now we are connected to the network as far as we are connected to the network we shall be seeing something like this okay so we can just cut this timer Now we refresh, you can see as far as we are connected to the network, the time will always be looping from 2 to 0 and you can see you are connected, okay? So, but at this point when time is code 15, we might be hiding the network that this network success, we might be hiding the other class for the network success. Okay, we come and copy this data and you see... dot hide and then we are hiding the other one for the network okay okay so let's just copy paste the other one yeah
and you can just copy this that and hide that and every time the connection has succeeded which will be coming here copy paste that so once the connection has succeeded we know the ajax will have returned the data and the data will be turned here so for that copy paste that here and say network dot show so and this dot hide and errors to be hidden once the ajax are returned now the system should be working very nice so what are you going to test first of all you refresh the page and you can see you are connected let's try to disconnect the network and see what's going to happen so we stop the apache and we wait you can see we are having problem connect to the server please wait while we connect and you can see the time goes back to zero to try to, to remember the connection the, to try to recover the connection so once we connect to the server you can see as far as the, there's no connection there will be no ajax request but if we connect to the server let's start the apache now and we connect to the server and see and you can see you are now connected to the network because uh, we have been we have, we have successfully set an ajax request so that's how you detect if the network is available or network is not available of course you don't have to show this time okay so this time is for production purposes, is for uh, development purposes and for production purposes you don't have to show this, you have to hide it, okay? It will be processing that in background, even the user will not be realizing, they will just be seeing, being given errors and they will not be realizing. So, thanks for watching, this is Ben from BestQSystem.com, subscribe, like and support me, goodbye.